Good morning, this is Charlie Zeiss with Only PVC Pyramids. The title of today's video is how to calculate the dimensions for a builded from scratch Russian geometry pyramid. A lot of you have been calling me recently after I uh, did my study on the sacred geometry of Russian pyramids and you've been asking how you can build your own from scratch and there's uh, a lot of reasons why people may want to do that. They may want to build a pyramid that's bigger than uh, what my uh, uh, existing connectors will accommodate. You may want to build it out of different building materials. There's a whole bunch of reasons why you may want to do that. So uh, rather than, con although I'm always happy to answer questions, rather than going through this with, with all of you who are interested in this, I decided to go ahead and do a video. And I wanted to say at the outset, the dimensions that we're going to give here today are the total exterior dimensions uh, of the pyramid. Now, I'm not going to go into how you will have to secure the top or the base uh, segments of your pyramid. What I'm giving you are the exterior dimensions that are going to be necessary, and you're going to have to do your own work with respect to figuring out uh, modifications that will need to be made based upon the types and dimensions of connectors that you use. But with that said, I wanted to, to put this information out and hope that it's helpful for those of you who uh, have a desire to build your own pyramid from scratch. So the first page you're going to see is a blank page. Uh, the relevant portions of this page are the inputs. Uh, you're going to need to put in the number of sides. That's going to most likely be four. Uh, and then you're going to need to put in a base length and a height, and we're going to tell you how to do that here in a few minutes. The other two things that are important on the uh, bottom portion of the page is going to be the slant angle. Now, in order to conform with the Russian geometry pyramids, you're going to want to have a slant angle that always shows up as 76.345 degrees. And the other important input that we're going to talk about today is the edge height. And that essentially is going to be the height of the vertical pieces or the, the edges of your pyramid. Uh, so that's the other important piece of information that we're going to talk about. The rest of this we're going to discuss in other videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing one here a little bit on the ABCs of the geometry of Russian pyramids. And you may want to watch that if you have interest in the other dimensions. But anyway, going on to the next page, uh, I have a, one that's been filled out. Uh, and I assumed uh, here a base length of 10, and I put in uh, sides as 4, and a height of 20.581761. And you may ask, well, how did you come up with that height? And this is the key ratio that you need to remember, is that no matter what size pyramid you're going to build, you need to maintain a ratio of height to base length of 2.058761. So when I make a base length of 10, I need to multiply that 2.058761 by 10 to come up with 20.581761. And when I do that and push the calculate button, as you'll see at the second of the last uh, piece on the bottom there, the slant angle is 76.345 degrees which means we've done our calculation exactly correctly. And then the other important piece of information is the edge height, which is 21.763. So again, for a, uh, a base length of 10, we'd have a height of 20.581761, and we'd have an edge height, or the size of the vertical piece, of 21.763. So taking this and using this as a guide, we're going to go ahead and do another example here uh, where we're actually going to take the, uh, the height as the given and figure the rest of it as a result of, of the height that we've chosen for the pyramid. In this case, I chose a 7-foot pyramid, and that equates to 84 inches. Uh, and so I've input that as the height, number of sides is 4. So once again, how do I get to the base length, which is now the variable? I divide 84 by 2.058761 to come up with a base length of 40.812834. Uh, 
I hit calculate and then I go down this is my check once again I go down to the bottom and I look at the slant angle and I see that it's 76.345 degrees and that's exactly what I want it to be that tells me that I did the calculation correctly and then the only other thing that I need to find out is the edge height which is 88.819 inches in this case so to review we've got a seven foot pyramid height of 84 inches we have a base length of 40.812834 inches, and we have an edge height of 88.819 inches. So you now have all of the relevant data that you need to make your pyramid. And again, to reiterate, this will not, uh, this or does not take into account how you're gonna end up connecting these pieces. You're gonna to have to compensate and make those decisions uh, on your own as to how you're going to connect these and compensate. But those are the total dimensions of the height uh, or the edge height and the, uh, the base length that calculations necessary to determine given a, a, a given height for your pyramid. So if you have any further questions after you go through this, I'll be happy to try to discuss it with you. But I'm not here to, to you know, give you detailed instructions on how to build your own pyramid uh, other than to give you guidance with the numbers. But I hope this has been helpful. And as always, we thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and tell others about Only PVC Pyramids and OnlyPVCPyramids.com. Again, thank you for watching and you have a great day.